Zambia, a country with abundant natural resources and a thriving economy. Apart from the vast reserves of copper and cobalt, the agricultural sector also plays a vital role and there has been a steady increase on investment in the agro-processing sector. Zambia is a player in the global trade game and that is uh, we are members of uh, uh, two regional integration uh, bodies, that uh, trade bodies, SADC and COMESA. And uh, right now, uh, these two are negotiating with uh, the East African community to form the tripartite uh, re uh, free trade area, which will form the building block of uh, the eventually planned continental free trade area. Um, it's so much to say, yes, we have these products to, to put on the trade market. The critical thing is quality assurance. So to be able uh, to get that, we need a proper quality infrastructure, uh, which we haven't had. Fortunately, UNIDO has come to uh, assist us with that. Yet, there is more work to be done for Zambians to fully enjoy the advantages of national, regional and global trade. The country still faces constraints in terms of supply capacity and quality infrastructure to meet modern day market requirements. What is envisaged in the national quality policy is that roles and responsibilities will be aligned to international best practices. By rationalizing the roles and responsibilities in the national quality infrastructure, we are, will be giving confidence to our trading partners. This means local producers need to comply more efficiently with standards that govern both the quality and the safety of their products in order to satisfy national and international consumers. For us, this is a very useful and interesting uh, project which is actually funded from our headquarters in Oslo, from, from uh, NORAD, as part of our more global perspective on supporting countries uh, in Africa and elsewhere in being better at uh, generating its own incomes from exports and from production. And uh, so, so we have a trade facilitation program in many countries. This is in a way an attempt to do uh, aid uh, for trade, which may eventually end up with real trade and, uh, and a period beyond aid. So um, uh, we're pleased to see that UNIDO is doing one of the difficult things in expo promotion, that is to improve the quality and ensure that the product that Zambia wants to put on the world market has the quality so it actually can compete on the international markets. That is the purpose and this is what we are pleased to do. Recognizing the need to improve export performance through interventions in the quality and standards, Ministry of Commerce, Trade and Industry partnered with UNIDO and NORAD in 2009 to embark on a program to review and overhaul the institutional framework surrounding standards, metrology compulsory specifications and technical regulations and to develop a national quality policy. The key things that you know our exports face are issues pertaining to compliance. Compliance with the international requirements from a quality perspective, in other words, you know, um, do they meet the standards? Do they meet, you know, uh, the acceptable international requirements of test certificates? Are our laboratories, you know, accredited to ensure that, you know, we are, you know, competent in terms of, you know, the technical issues that we have to deal with, you know. So critically, these are the issues that, you know, our exports are facing and these are the issues that the project is trying to address by setting up what we call a credible you know, a national quality infrastructure, which is internationally recognized and internationally you know, accepted. One of the project's key components is the strengthening of the institutions and structures offering quality-related services to the Zambian economy, such as the Zambia Bureau of Standards. There's this emphasis on being tested once, accepted everywhere. So we really have to ensure that, you know, our processes, you know, once we certify, once we calibrate instruments in here, that our systems have got that international reputation. So we're really grateful for your need of the support that you have rendered in this particular field. So under the national quality uh, policy, 
we've received you know, support from UNIDO and this type of support has not only centered on uh, reviewing the national quality infrastructure for Zambia so that we can see how we can model the Zambia Bureau of Standards as a business. Most of the support that we've received is in the meteorology department where you know UNIDO has been there to ensure that they support our accreditation process in particular for non-traditional exports like honey and you know some uh, some grains where we are testing you know for sugars and also testing for aflatoxins these are key parameters which we should ensure that the specs are within levels so that you know these products can be accepted the project assisted zambia weights and measures agency to upgrade their capabilities and organizational procedures to the level of internationally accepted practice together with members of their staff who received training. The institution is growing rapidly and the commitment of the Zambian government to assure sustainability could not be more evident as with their financing of the new Metrology Institute. As the Zambia Weights and Measures Agency, we've benefited greatly from the UNIDO uh, WTO Trade Capacity Building Program. Uh, we've received uh, support in carrying out a survey of the instruments that need to be um, verified in the country, we've received vehicles. We've also spent a lot of time uh, increasing our capacity to verify the volumes of bulk fuel that is transacted within the country. We've rehabilitated our test rig in dollar for um, verifying fuel uh, truck tankers. We've received a master meter with which we'll be able to do very high accuracy verifications for bulk fuel receipts from abroad. Uh, we've also um, received a, a set of provers which enable us to also have our provincial and regional offices be able to provide that same accu high accuracy volume uh, verification of fuel in that area. We've uh, received a laser which we can use for verification of uh, large uh, underground and overhead tanks, which is a further level of accuracy that we can provide to the fuel supply chain. The ultimate beneficiaries of this project were the manufacturers and exporters in the strategic export sectors, who will be able to expand their production and comply with export country regulations, standards and buyer's requirements by virtue of enhanced and accredited testing and certification facilities in Zambia. They will be able to provide to their clients globally accepted certificates of conformity to product and management system standards, thereby streamlining export procedures. I think time is gone for people to actually question why we should do uh, quality products. It's just a must, it should be part and parcel of industry, and the more we get to the party, I think the better for the economy itself. We cannot do without institutions such as the Zambia Bureau of Standards, as much as they cannot do without us. Improved services from these organizations will also reflect in industry. Our part as Zambia uh, manufacturers would be then to encourage the manufacturers to tap into the already capacity that has been built in these institutions. But it's not only the institutions and its staff that benefit from the project. Companies have profited as well through the first pilot Global Food Safety Initiative's Global Markets Protocol in the Southern African region involving Zambian food producers and consumers as well as key quality staff members of two major supermarket retailer groups. There's noticeable um, benefits that we've noted since we enrolled for this program and the key among those benefits are we now have a systematic approach where we identify possible sources of hazards and we are able to prevent these hazards from entering the food chain within our production systems. And uh, the main benefits to, our, to the consumers of our products. This project is also assisting testing laboratories. These laboratories are important as they help national companies become more competitive by issuing reliable results of their tested products. Through the project's assistance, the Zambia Laboratory Association was formed in 2011, which will, among other things, set up 
and run national proficiency schemes and assist members in accreditation related training needs. The Zambia National Voter Association was established to respond to some of the problem areas that had been identified in the conformity assessment sector. The members of the association benefit uh, from uh, ZNLA in many different ways. We try to encourage uh, professionalism uh, as well as uh, ethics in the conduct of research and testing uh, and also to share experiences and to help each other to understand uh, the procedures that would be followed for accreditation uh, and uh, for acquisition, acquisition of, um, of laboratories supplies. The next step to be taken is to promote the catalyst of economic activities such as small and medium enterprises. They are the customers of institutions such as ZABS and ZWMA, soon to become National Metrology Institute, which are helping sustain a well-developed quality service, which are the backbone of a well and healthy growing economy.